Hey guys, it's Kugli again with another ROM review and this time I've got the AOS IP ROM that is Android Open Source Illusion Project for the OnePlus 3. So stay tuned for that. So guys, the AOS IP ROM, what is this? It is an open source ROM uh, like the name suggests. It is a ROM which has been around for some time. It has worked on its way from a lot of devices. Uh, a lot of devices already have it. I recently covered the, one of the latest versions on the OnePlus 6T. This one is for the OnePlus 3. Now OnePlus 3 did have this ROM previously. This is the Pi version. It has been there for some time. So let's get started. Now, first of all, what you would see here is the uh, lock screen. Of course, you can see that there is an analog clock. That is a feature available in this ROM. You'd have a few options to select from. This is the launcher with which it comes, which is a pretty standard launcher which is quick step works really well just check out the wallpaper it's so damn awesome i really, really like that let's go to the about phone page in the settings menu in the about phone page you can see that uh, it is android 9 that is pi ios ip build is 9 just the official version with the january security patches february security patches are out but it hasn't been updated so uh, it's gonna take some time kernel version is 318120 lineage os of course that is the kernel available SLN status is enforcing for those who care about that stuff so that's pretty much it so that is it in the about phone page now before i get to anything it is a rom with a decent amount of features it has a lot of things going on for it and uh, everything is working it's a very very good daily driver a lot of people have been using this one i like this rom because it has a lot of little touches available the developer for this one is a pretty amazing developer uh, I believe it is Ujwal. He is great at having that little things which make a lot of differences. I really like that. Everything works basically. Uh, VOLT is working as you if you uh, check it out. It is VOLT. So um, that is there. Anyways, everything else is working. You don't need to worry too much into that. SIM cards, all that is working. You don't need to have any issues with that. Let's get to the features now. First of all, most of the extra features are inside Owl's Nest where you will find uh, status bar options. In the status bar options, battery options can be customized. You have battery percentage, bat clock style can be customized. Camera label can be enabled if you want that on the status bar. Clock options are available with alignment of uh, clock, AM, PM indicator, date options, date format, all of that is available. Icons on the status bar can be customized if you want any of the options available show 4g instead of lde rom indicator use old mobile style that is amazing i really really like that it takes less real estate on the status bar i like that vlt icon if you don't want the vo lit icon you can disable that if you don't want that network graphic indicator is available which you can customize it works decently in the quick setting panel you have brightness slider brightness slider can be on the bottom and also adaptive brightness button can be enabled as you can see there is available plus and minus options are available and these are the buttons which you can customize in here and also you can customize the number of columns and the number of uh, quick setting columns and all that is available height label is available and all that it can be customized which is pretty cool to have quick pull down and smart pull down is available for those who want that vibrate on touch animation style can be customized uh, also uh, show information header and show security footer is available for those who want that notification options you have customization for ambient music tickers so in the ambient display it will show the what music is playing on the phone right now and not the recognizer so it actually is pretty cool it doesn't eat up a lot of battery i like that battery light led settings are available you can customize that headset notification can be customized with a timeout and a snooze timer which is pretty awesome notification options are available for toast type icon which is pretty nice and also noisy notification if screen is on navigation options you do have options for navigation bar if you want that does work really well also you do have gesture options which is pretty awesome to have if you use nav bar buttons you have you do have smart bar fling and the normal stock aosp options available and you can customize the pulse option also which is pretty cool to have i personally don't use nav bars, so i don't know much about it but for those who are using nav bars hey power to you there is an option for that hardware button controls are available in the power menu you can customize reboot advanced reboot is available screenshot can be customized disable power menu on lock screen cool to have screen of animation can be customized even with crt which i really liked when cm was available but uh, i mean right now the simple fade animation is pretty cool volume options are available with playback control and keyboard cursor control which does work really well i like that these are the two options which i look forward to in any rom uh, navigation options are available if you are using hardware or 
software nav buttons you can disable the nav buttons back button home button and overview button can be customized for all the three things and uh, you have the aosp style customizer also backlight options are available available if you don't want backlight you can disable that link to screen brightness and also timeout and level can be customized which is pretty awesome to have In the recent option you do have a selector you can have the pie style quick step or the oreo style recent menu if you select the older one you do have a clear all button and also clear all location can be customized from all of these options which is pretty cool and icon pack also can be customized if you are someone who wants that flair last new options you do have shortcut customizer you can customize what all stuff appears there charging info media cover art media visualizer all that can be customized show lock screen visualizer in uh, ambient display is also an option which is available i personally don't care too much about that but hey it is a little bit of visual flair available temperature unit can be customized and also clock widget all that is available items underneath the clock can be enabled or disabled if you don't want that like lock screen and uh, the zen options available with pixel roms if you don't want these options you can outright disable that there is no option for having it in two lines like we saw in the previous rom which i reviewed so it's kind of a wash now clock style is available i have selected analog which is normal stuff which you see a lot of times this is another thing default options are available and also sami option is available which uh, i find pretty interesting it's really cool i like that also a bold style is available which is right now my favorite one it looks pretty damn awesome it looks different and uh, in my eyes something different is always uh, something attractive so i like that disable quick settings when in lock screen fin fingerprint authentication vibration can be customized face auto unlock is available quick unlock is available if you'd want that and also scrapple pin layout is available which you can customize and the gesture options you do have aosp gestures which you can customize jump to camera by double tapping the power button is available activate the torch by long pressing the power button is available if you want that or double tapping the power button is also available but that will disable camera option prevent ringing is available three finger gestures is available but again every custom rom has an issue where it will scroll whenever you try to drag your fingers across it brightness control on the status bar is available lost me and status bar double tap to sleep is also available in the advanced settings you have app ops which you can customize it is an application where you can micromanage the permissions for each and every application so that's pretty cool to have if you don't want an application to use a permission you can do that show cpu info is available as you can see interactive is the one right now in call vibration options are also available which does work and that is it in the owl's nest options in the other options in the display options for example you have ambient display options in the ambient display you have always on and also new notification it doesn't have the pocket mode pickup sensor and uh, hand wave gestures which i would have liked to have i like that in a custom rom this one doesn't have it ambient music ticker is available from here also if you want to customize that now there is an option for black af theme i for the life of me cannot understand how to activate this i couldn't get uh, the black theme working on this one not really sure how to do that even so um that's a thing i'm not really sure about that font size and display size can also be customized from here which is really cool to have sound option basic stuff is available which is uh, normal which you find in here gestures for preventing ringtone is available if you do that on a normal device you can do that apart from that one plus gestures are available and it does work so v for flashlight o for camera this is not the lineage gesture options where you can customize it uh it's just the one plus one copied over which works for a lot of people so i'm really happy with that ls layer options are available you can customize that and ls layer options are available and uh it's just normal stuff so a button as you can see is enabled because uh it has the samsung ui buttons out of the box apart from that digital well-being and all that is working it does work really well in the system updates or in the about uh, page again you can find that aos ip updater is available and the developer has stated that this does work being an official version it should work personally i have not tried it out but hey it is available for those who care about that and that is it in the settings or the feature section of this rom aos ip is a very very feature rich rom may not be the most one but it does have a lot of interesting features uh, which i consider to be great for a daily driver to be had now a lot of features or a lot of small details i may not have covered go to the forum which is linked in the description below you will be able to find all these niggles there because these actually do uh, add up to a quality of uh, usage experience and i really like that so that is the kind of rom this is now the battery life the battery life on this rom uh, let's just say it's 
pretty normal. I got, I'm getting about 1.4% of idle rain and about 17-16% uh, of active rain. Which, uh, kind of borders on the uh, more than required scale, but that is what it is. I mean, it's not the most battery friendly ROM, but you do have an option for flashing any custom kernel and doing that. It should work normally. Now the performance of the ROM. The performance of the ROM is also basically the same thing. I'm getting about 163,000, which is normal for a Pi ROM on the OnePlus 3, and uh, I'm getting exactly the same thing. So yeah, nothing much about that. Now the stability of the ROM. Stability wise, it's a, actually a very stable ROM. I really like it. Previously with a few ROMs, there were issues where applications would just crash, but that was only a one-time thing, so I didn't feel that it was a lot about the ROM. But in this case, using this for a two, two, three days, and uh, it's been working really well, no issues at all. So I'm really happy with the stability on this one. Now the camera. This ROM doesn't come with a camera. <laughs> so yeah, that's one thing. It doesn't come with any camera application. I've installed footage. It works. But I don't think that's about the ROM rather than just the application. Yeah, it doesn't come with a camera, which is weird. I don't know why applications or ROMs does not come with a camera in build. Maybe you are expected to flash a uh, Gcam mod and uh, get that done. Uh, I don't know. That's That may be what the developer is intending it to do. So yeah, that is available. You can flash your own camera. Now the aesthetics of the ROM. Aesthetics of the ROM, I mean, I, I don't know. It says it has a dark theme, but it doesn't. I'm a stickler for dark theme i like that and especially on a oneplus on, on a oneplus device which has oled display i would like to have that it does have accent color switcher if you want that but i mean why why is the um black af theme not working i'm not really sure what wh how do i enable that i don't even know how to do this so i want to believe that i'm doing something wrong if you know how to do this or if you know what to do Please do let me know. Try and provide it in the description for anyone who's looking for it. So yeah, aesthetically, I'm not that pleased with it. it just have substratum. You can use substratum, and uh, the root method works for substratum. Not gonna have an, much of an issue. I use pitch black for everything. It just works. Now the overall experience of using the ROM. The overall experience of using the ROM is pretty good. I didn't have any issues with the ROM. VLD works, calling works, all the uh, call functionality was working out of the box. The only thing was the camera was not there and uh, it does have recorder. Call recording is available uh, but it's not auto call recording so yeah just keep that in mind. So these are the things which I have found in this ROM which uh, I mean I'm not, I'm not against using this ROM. I'm really liking this one and for someone who doesn't need a lot of features this one still has a lot of features but uh, it isn't overwhelming like msm extender or selection dynamics or havoc from let me show you guys the boot animation which uh, let's say is uh, electrifying so there you have it guys that is the aos ip illusion project boot animation which um, as i've said man that's an electrifying uh, boot animation which worked really well so i'm really happy with that now before going anywhere you see that it's uh, present in a lot of custom roms so don't worry about that that is a glitch if you go to uh, lost screen again that will be fixed so yeah just keep that in mind so i guess that much is it about the rom then uh in a conclusion i would say that it's a great daily driver it works and i'm really happy with using this one i don't think it's the most interesting thing ever but that is exactly what a lot of people want not having to uh, have an interesting time just fixing stuff because they had a total some uh, interesting feature which they found and uh bought it up so yeah i mean it's it's a daily driver for people who don't want to figure out what the atomic mass of x y or z is so that's pretty much it so i guess i'm interested about the rom then hope you guys like the video please share subscribe and like the video if you found it useful see you guys next time bye